What is going on, everybody? It is Craig. I'm back, and I got a fun, a fun real mystery box. But I got two boxes. And you're like, wait, make one up. No. Only one's a mystery box. The other is an item I ordered from the site. Um, the site that was uh, in the damaged or fragile, like, scratch and dented section. And they sent me two boxes, and they're the same. But I'm going to guess by the weight of the box that this first one from... CSR, I always called it CSA, uh, but CSR collectibles. I'm going to think this is the item I ordered. So I'm going to open it up, and I'll show it to you because it's a cool item. And then we'll go through what the uh, the mystery box. The mystery box I ordered, I actually got really lucky in doing it because it was supposed to go live on Friday at noon. And I'm a, a college professor, and I have a class at the time. Granted, it's a, synch a synchronous, but... I couldn't tell my students from me to step away from the internet to go somewhere else on the internet. Um, so I just, I checked in and it was actually up and available earlier than that. So I put my order like, you know, before the craft. It's like, cool. And nothing happened. I got the eye of the box. So, you know, that's, that was neat to know. Little tip. I try that for every box that go has this thing. That's the first time that ever happened. But with Black Friday, you never know. There's a lot of cool giveaways coming. A lot of cool uh, sales coming. So I figure I get my taste in off one only. Okay, now if this happens to be the mystery box, I will look away quickly and then be afraid. Uh, say. No, this is the scratch and dented. Yes, okay. Scratch and dented. Let's see, look around real quick. Um, you know what? Wow, for the price, I don't see any issue with the autographs. I don't see any issue anyway. I give it a real case. I got myself a signed Jason came out of pop. Now I hope I hope beyond hope that one of these isn't in the other box, because it could be, but I'm not a big fan. I know everyone says that. I'm not a big fan of pops, but I have thousands of them. I really I used to have a lot of pops. I sold a bunch. I still have a bunch that I mean to eventually pass out and sell. But just because I do get mystery boxes, I have accumulated a few signed pops. I have I, I have um the guy who played the scarecrow in Scary Things to Tell in the Dark. I think that got I think that came in a band box box. I got Tom Savini, Creep Show came in a zombie box. I got Tim Curry came in a celebrity marking box, which keep an eye on this channel. I got two of those Hollywood bad boys coming in. Uh, and then I got a Nick Castle, the shape sign one, in a box I recently did. So since I was picking up a few and the price was as good as it was on this one, you know, Kane Hada, you know, I had to get it. And I'm sure if I'll yank this out later of the case and examine it, I'll see why this was in Scratch and Fragile. But the autograph looks just fine for me. So as long as that wasn't the issue, that is freaking bad. I like that. Okay, so what was the... What was the um, the mystery box. The mystery box was three items. A pop, I think it was, I, I don't know, was it a pop, a plop, and a photo? Or was it at least a pop and then two photos? Either way, you get three items. Uh, and, and, and the price point, I think it was 150, 125, 150, 125, something along those lines. Um, but, again, I'm a sucker for these mystery boxes, so... <laughs> Got some weight to it. Again, as long as I don't get a a Kane hot uh, pop, I'll, not, I'll be okay. I mean, that's not true. There's a lot of things I won't want, but you, you know that. You get a mystery box. If you get something you don't want, what do you do? You trade it. You know, um, I'm one of the places I'm going to put this video is in Mystery Box Bunker. I love you guys. I freaking, it, freaking Box Pop and Beauty, they're responsible for me buying a couple of those Hollywood boxes I just mentioned because I saw them do the opening. I saw their golden ticket. Like, no, I, I got to buy some. I got two of those incoming. One should be here maybe tomorrow. The other, assuming there'll be a delay with Thanksgiving. Yeah, maybe Friday or Saturday. Sorry. But that said, this is three items. So I'm going to try to put this off to the side with a blind action. And we see if I get anything too cool. I have seen some boxes open. Some boxes have had some amazing stuff. Some boxes have stuff that I don't like. But to me, I don't mind that because that's almost like what a mystery box should be. I'd rather have that than, I'd rather have that than have the a mystery box like that. I, I did one. 
recently. It might have even been. It might have been with the same company. The same company where everything was the same. Or else you got like the one out of ten. I'd rather there seems to be, be some variations. See what happens. You know. Okay. So we got. Okay, I did see this. This isn't. This isn't an autograph. But first, I'm like, guys, oh, it like twisty. Um, but it is a, a, a face mask, which I think that's neat. You know, we'll see how this works. I will say, you, you look at me you're like, Craig, you're a bigger guy. I just saw that says medium. So this pretty much ain't going to be a face mask I can wear. But um, especially with the be with the facial hair, it becomes quite tough. Oh, good. I, I look down. Oh, everything is covered. I like that. This is something soft. I don't know what that is. This is the pop, which I haven't looked through it yet. Um, and this is the photo. So I like how... I like how everything is sealed up. Okay, let's go to photo first. Uh, happy holidays. Thanks for the support. Let's see what we got here. This is... You know what? Good job, CSR. Because, uh, you know, not that I have the channel size of a lot of... A lot of the big guys, but if you look at me, I love to do unboxings. This is how the unboxing stuff should always be packed. Let us, you know, in, in, uh, increase it a little bit. Um, let me see. Okay. Okay, I only looked at a corner just because I wanted to see which side was the back. Okay. So. I have not seen it yet. I've only seen the back side. Because I like to do the little fresh and see if I can figure it out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the first item in my mystery box is a... Look at that. No. Look at that. Okay, I know what it is because I've seen him before. I'm not sure if this is who this is on it. Um, the witch. Terry. Okay, uh, that kudos too. They give the information. That's like they did that with the E1 ropes too. Uh, they put everything on it. Uh, and this is her first ever signing, which is pretty cool. I do have Damien. Right, is Damien? My feet, uh, strangers too. Caught already. He was nice enough to sign one for me. Um, he was nice enough to sign one for me via friend of mine, Brian Minnick, who designs badass custom figures. So I like that. I like that because I like Haunt and I can put pieces together. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not that familiar with Terry. I gotta look into see what else she's been in. You know, who knows? This could be every now and then. Like I'll give you an example. I know there were some people like who opened the BAM box years ago, and they had a Sabretooth autograph in there, Tyra Maine, and they were bitching, oh, I hate this stuff, I like horror people, and I'm like, hey, just so you know, he did play Michael Myers, and they're like, oh, so you never know, you never find out who's what. So, um, I'm going to go to the pop next, just because, uh, uh, okay, see this, I'm not, I don't love the pop. But again, I just talked about value. I, I will hope, though, given the cost of the boxes, I would hope what's ever in there is pretty high. Because this is signed. Oh, now I feel like an ass. <laughs> I feel like an ass. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is signed by five people. I can't make out most. Mike Martinez is the start one. Okay. So I'm assuming the other... And the other four are what? Fatso, Shorty. I don't remember the name, all the names because I know they changed it. It used to be Fatso. They don't call them Fatso anymore. They call them Jumbo now or something. Um, so we have all five, five killer crowns. Now, I do have a friend who told me that these guys don't sign. They're relatively affordable. But you know what? To get, you get all five of them on one pop, that is pretty cool. So I like that. You know what? I like that. I don't know if it's some. this is something I personally would have bought. Because I have photos, signs I actually got from them. Their last big, uh, their last big evil envelope. I think that was my big hit. It was a uh, kill crowns with the four of them on it. So, um, they definitely have relationships with these guys. But that's neat. That and my Kane Hada. If I factor that, it makes me happy. So let's see who we got a mask. We got a hmm. I'm trying not to abuse it fondo too much, because you know, no, you don't want to hurt something. Uh, the double edge knife, the double blade, not double edge, double blade knife. Okay, I know what this is. Um, it's a cool item. But I was just telling people, I have an ungodly amount of this guy's autographs. So maybe if you're listening, 
my buddy Larry, who loves the autographs items, masks. Um, maybe we finally get together on, on a good trade, but we'll, we'll cause God knows I have a few of them for you. Uh, this is Tom Savini, faces a horror autograph mask. The problem is, I'm not finding the autograph. Okay, I'm, I'm dumb. It's somewhere obvious. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Eh. Okay, it's not, it's silver paint. So, it's not going to come up as great here, maybe? Or maybe it will. Okay, it comes up better on the camera. So, it's not bad. It pops a lot better in person. I just I get the right angle. So, we got Tom Savini, autographed mask, faces of armor. And it's a cool little mask. Um, It's stretchy, so it'll probably fit the big guy. <laughs> no, who the fuck am I kidding? You see how tiny that thing is on me? <sighs> it's Jason's mom. If she had a growth spurt, I guess. Okay. Um, Overall review, what do I think? You know what? This is me getting my feet wet in the mystery box stuff. Because like I said, I do have the two celebrity Hollywood OC coming in, which... Damn it, I wasn't going to get them. I don't do that stuff. I don't do, but the stuff in the in the boxes, box top and beauty. Oh, my, so much cool stuff. Um, also, the half geek had some cool stuff in his, too. So, I got suck it in. But what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I guess value-wise, I don't think that's bad. I mean, the Kill Crowns is nice. The Top Zimini Sign Mask is cool. And, again, the random auto at a con, was it 25 30 bucks to get something like that? So, you know, I got, I got no beef with that box, you know, um, you know, I don't know. Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, if you've not subbed me, sub me. I got a pretty cool contest that's in the works that I got to hit the old 500 sub mark before I release the last video. But that's it, folks. Thank you. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.